Welcome back everyone. I'll go ahead and show you exactly how to clear up your other storage that is on your PlayStation 5. Now what the storage basically consists of is basically a bunch of different stuff within your you know, console. This can be some games, some game save data, and sometimes even some PS4 software that was outputted from your PlayStation 5 and transferred from your PlayStation 4 to your PlayStation 5. Now, some really, really easy ways to fix this is pretty much, you know, kind of seeing what exactly is on your console. Now, if you go into your settings and if you go into your console storage options, you'll basically see a whole list of other storage on your console. Now, you can see a breakdown of save data, games and apps, and a bunch of other stuff. Now, the other thing typically sometimes can consist of software updates, demos that were sometimes downloaded that had extra data. I've heard sometimes that also goes into the other storage, but also sometimes your saved screenshots, your saved videos, gameplay, and all that stuff can sometimes be stored in other storage as well. So a really easy way to fix this is pretty much go through your whole entire PlayStation 5 and determine anything that could be deemed maybe not necessarily super important that on your daily usage. So things like, you know, if you use Netflix a lot or YouTube a lot, and for some reason you have like a lot of downloaded content from those specific, you know, apps, that can have a huge impact on your other storage as well. So sometimes deleting those apps can actually alleviate some of that other storage. Also, like I said before, screenshots and gameplay recordings, different things like that can also pretty much affect exactly how much other storage is being taken up on your PlayStation 5. So if you go ahead and clean up a lot of that, that will go ahead and take out a lot of that other storage 100%. Now, honestly, some other things that take up a lot of storage too, if you have a lot of Wi-Fi connections saved onto your console or a lot of user data stored on your console, this can also, you know, take up a lot of storage on your console as well. So sometimes actually going through and cleaning out, you know, your user accounts and everything can also fix a specific issue as well. Now, the biggest way to go ahead and take out a lot of that other storage and basically remove it all entirely is to typically do a factory reset. And I think I've already done a video on exactly how to factory reset your PlayStation 5, but I would recommend doing that either booting your PlayStation 5 into soft mode and booting it up there in safe mode actually and reinitializing your PlayStation 5 or even going through your PlayStation 5 settings and you know reinitializing and resetting it that way that can also pretty much take out all that extra other storage and at the end of the day it'll basically clear out all of that and it'll basically be starting from day one but it's still much better than having a lot of that other storage already being taken up so those are just a couple ways on how to fix it if you guys have any other questions or anything let me know in the comment section below hit the like button that would mean so much but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.